All right, I hope everyone's doing well. Listen, it's my honor to have our third customer uh, on stage with me. Please join me in welcoming Pauline Flamant from Michelin. Pauline, thank you for, for being here. Pauline's the executive director in charge of all of global networking. Uh, Pauline, I thought I'd start. Michelin is such an incredible brand. It's a 100-year-plus company, one of the most celebrated brands of tires. And you started looking at SD-WAN. Yes. Uh, and you had, you know, we're looking at VeloCloud before we acquired them. Yes. How did you hone in on your decision on VeloCloud and why SD-WAN? Okay. I will start with why SD-WAN and it started before. Uh, we were back in 2017 and my network had not been uh, transformed, so I was full MPLS, no hybridation, and we were deploying Microsoft Office 365, the collaboration tools, and I was just dying. Every six months I had to upgrade, I uh, had to change uh, the priorities and the quality of service, and still the performance was not at the right level, and everybody was complaining that network was not working. So I said, okay, I need to find a solution that will help me to uh, transform fast and to be able to apply business policies that will allow me to apply your routing based on what is critical and what I want to do with those flows. And we were looking at the market, and I don't know if you remember, but 2017, the, the, quadru the magic quadrant for SD1 didn't exist, and the market was very fragmented. Everybody was buying everybody, so it was very confusing. So I had made my short list of four products that seemed good enough. One of them was VeloCloud and you bought that. So somehow it's, uh, it's an insurance for a company like us because you will bring some solidity to that product. And we just found uh, a carrier, you know, Telco, who is deploying it for us. But it's not a managed service. It's really our solution, and we manage the business policies uh, ourselves. And I think it's customers like you that have now allowed us to sort of convince Gartner we are now top right. Uh, so now it's a much easier choice. Now, what is the use case of SD-WAN? Because you've got manufacturing, you've got plants, you've got this edge type of use case. Yes. How are you deploying VeloCloud? Uh, so I would like, I wish I could deploy it everywhere, but you still have countries where we cannot import the boxes. Um, so we, we plan to deploy them everywhere, uh, small commercial agencies, plants, headquarters, research centers. And the first use case is really to transform the network and um, to put the carriers, the telcos, in competition, uh, because sometimes they are still very slow to provide the physical layer. So the first use case is agility for the business, uh, uh, diversity of the links, provide more resilience and more capacity, uh, almost on demand if, uh, if required. That's the first use case. And as we are deploying, we have deployed 60 sites as we, as we speak, so it's a third. Uh, we are learning more and more how to manage the orchestrator. It brings more visibility. Uh, we have identified the patterns of the traffic, and we find issues, and we improve um, the parameters of the solution. So we are learning and really the grail is to have true and business policies. And a site policies. to you could be a manufacturing location, yes. it could be a plant, it could yes. be headquarters, any yes. site. A any site and any size. Great. And now, I, uh, as you think about the cloud, um, mm. this is another advent. I'm sure you're excited about some of the things we're doing in multi-cloud. How do you think about the future in your cloud? Okay, so right now, we still have three data centers on-premise. Uh, we are using Azure, and we have moved 15% of the workload to Azure or Greenfield. And we are considering to use IBM Cloud as well, but we're still working on the opportunity and the business case for that one. Uh, clearly, we'll have more and more clouds, because here we talk only about the clouds that we choose and we manage. But we, you have many SaaS, like you know, Office 365. Yes. So we have more and more clouds, and SD1 is also helping us to see the patterns and the traffic yes. and to improve the access to those clouds. Well, hopefully you like the announcements we make today with Azure. So yes. you heard Michelin's looking at uh, Azure and IBM Cloud, and we've announced some partnerships between VeloCloud and Azure and tighten mm. that integration, so hopefully that helps customers like you. Thank uh, Pauline, thank you for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up thank for Pauline Flamand from Michelin. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. You did great. Okay.